So lads, we are on our way to visit my dad's old school right now and we're just gonna explore it and see what life is like back at your school, right dad? Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, so we've just made it here at my dad's school. I'm just gonna show you what it is like. So here it is. It's called Sheikh Bashir Secondary School. My dad used to come here during the 80s, got his education here. I'm gonna see if we could try to get some inside access and what the rooms are like and what is like inside of the school. We actually managed to find a little entrance here. So as you can just see here, managed to find a little entrance for the school. So we're just gonna head inside now. So here is just a little massage here. This is where the students come here and pray. Assalamu alaikum. Don't I? Uh, Malin? Malin? Oh. So, so not Malin, but just some of the people come here from the area just to pray here. But this is where the students pray. So, yeah. Okay, so we've just en exited the mosque right now. So I'm just going to show you the proper outside of the school. So we're just going to make our way there. So. Here's a little bit of a pathway and let's see, you can see the students are not here right now so it's currently six o'clock here so obviously there's no students but as you can see this is like a little bit of a playground and you can see the classrooms are just over there. I'm just gonna show you around a bit but you can see some workers over there so that individual if I could just zoom in a little right now I can't but there's a little worker over there if you can see just doing some work for the school. Who are you when you're on your own? Who are you with nowhere to go? So as you can Who see, are these are all the form three classes. You can see 3A, there's a little poem right there, a little educational poem about school and that. 3B, 3C, 3D, and all the way as you can see. I can't really zoom in on this camera, but I'll just walk a bit further. Clearly see three E. So the five classes right there. Um, so I'm just gonna go around a bit. So three A, three B, three C. So we're just gonna make our way to my father's class right now. This is my father's class, which is three E. So we're just gonna enter in right now. Let's see what they've got up to today, the students. So as you can see, they did a little bit of maths some adding, some algebra, um, solving equations and all that sort of stuff. You can see there's a lot of, like a bit like in school, but like lots of, you know, motivational messages, leadership is not chair, but knowledge. Some bit of geography right here. Education is the key of life facts. So smiley right in Duxi, my dear, my day, my hi, do me so moi. And I'm not going to bother reading that, but yeah, some science there as well. Um, so a little bit of flower, some writing there. So yeah, this is where my father used to study. And these are the chairs. I'm just gonna show you the classroom itself. And this table is where students will be seated. Man, this is a massive throwback, I can't lie. It's, it's massive, my old father's classroom. Here we are outside right now again, so this is where the principal of the school would be speaking. This is where like the students, this little background right here, this is where all the students would be stood at to hear the the principal speak. I don't mind being in it actually, yeah. So. yeah. Okay, so there's the basketball court right there. Uh. I'm guessing that's the place where people do, would do uh. go praying the prayer over there. Yeah. So if you want to show them here. A little bit, that's just from safety children, so that people get access to clean water. Yeah. Also, the basketball court. Yeah. It's uh, not really in great condition right now. It's clean, but they should probably. They'll definitely do well soon. But so there's the basketball court. There's extra classrooms. Form one. Form two is just over there, by the way. Uh, form C. There's the other bit of form one, as you can see there. I'm guessing that little building over there is a toilet. But yeah. Yep. So, wow. Very nostalgic, man. 
normally I'm here. My father's old school. It's actually insane, bro. Also, this is the place where, you know, if you're in primary school, you don't stand, but like, basically like lunchtime, breakfast club and all that sort of stuff, they all take place. These activities will take place right here. So with these buildings and a couple of activities where they would do extra recreational stuff, PE and all that sort of stuff. That's what life was like here. I'm only just met at my dad's primary school right now. Right? We're just gonna get given special access to it. If you can read that, it says Muhammad Ali Primary School. So here it is. So there's a little water tank here, there. The rooms are right there, as you can see. It's a much smaller school than, um, well, than the secondary school that we just previously went to. Obviously, there's no students here. School's over for the day. That is the office of management, like the head teacher's office. Here, as you can see here, they're all just the classes. Classrooms are for all the students. However, like, as my dad told me, like that building, as you can see there, and that one just there, weren't actually there when my father left the primary school. So these are just newly built. Obviously, like, I'm sure you know in the UK, yeah, uh, you know, you have year one, year two, year three, year four, but here in Somaliland, or when my dad was here, you had, year four so we're just about to enter the classroom right now um so what do the students learn today again just maths some somali you know negative numbers and all that sort of stuff so i'm just going to have a little tour around here so where the students are seated a lot of graffiti here i can't lie they could definitely do with the fix of the walls but it's very nostalgic here wow See the tables. This would where obviously be where the teacher would be at. Lying here is dreadful, but if I just move here a bit, I am in right now, as you can see, the exact seat as to where my father used to sit. This exact seat. Let me show you the view from where I am. So I'm currently sitting here right now, and this is my view of the classroom. Uh, it's obviously a bit dark, so I can't really see the board, so... Let's get a view. So this is the exact seat as to where my dad used to sit, so... Yeah, right at the very back. I don't know why there's a table there, but this is the very back row. And that is where my dad used to sit. So that room right at the end, that is there for final year students. And as you can see over here, that is for first year students. So I'm just gonna give you a little backdrop of the school and the rooms here. Okay guys, so this is a former student right here. He graduated from this school back in 2004. So, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Maga. So, so what was life like in the school? School wasn't just about studying, it was where I laughed, made friends and created memories that will stay with me forever. Every day was a new story, a new moment to cherish. Graduation felt like yesterday. Okay guys, so we're on our way to do a little bit of shopping. I didn't actually give you an insight of last time I actually did a little bit of shopping because, well, I don't know why I didn't, but like, well today I'm going to do some clothes shopping again. Uh, I'm going to give you a little insight of what it is like shopping in Buddha or what it's like shopping in Africa. So yeah, we're just about to make our way there. Uh, I'll see you guys there when we're at the shops. Okay guys, I did say I was going to do a little bit of clothes shopping, but I decided why not give you a little bit of insight of what education is like here in Buddha. I'm currently at the University of Buddha. And if you could just see on that sign just over there, they just had their 14th ever ceremonies, 14th batch or whatever, um, on yesterday, the 20th of August. Today's the 21st. So we're just gonna go inside the university and we're gonna give you a deeper insight of what life is like here in the University of Buddha and in Somaliland in general. In the 1980s, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a historical insight. So, in the 1980s, there was no universities here in Buddha or in the Somaliland region here in general. There was only 
one university in the Somali Republic and that was in the University of Mogadishu which was 1500 miles away from Bula'a. So the fact that they're building a lot of universities shows that the education here in Bula'a is improving. Many people are getting more opportunities. My father never got these opportunities. My parents never got these education opportunities here in uh, Bula'a and in their home cities. But Alhamdulillah, the place is getting better. You know, the education opportunities are increasing and we're just about to enter the building right now. We're just gonna understand what life is like here in Bula'a, in university. So here is a little plaque here um, saying that, you know, this university here in Bura was officially opened almost 20 years ago. So this time next week will actually mark 20 years since this university was officially opened. It's actually mad, I can't lie. I'm going to give you a good little landscape view of the entire university. So just going to show you. really nice nice infrastructure here i can't lie okay guys so i'm currently here at a historical landmark here so i'm just going to show you so i'm here at a historic landmark place this is the place in which the somaliland decided to reclaim its independence from the somali republic our lost independence this is the exact place in which it took place now if i just show you i know i can't really see but um yeah but if you can see that yeah it's clearly in a derelict state, but that's because we decided to, you know, just keep it in that way so that we can remind ourselves of such a historic moment in which the Somaliland country was formed and we decided to escape from the oppressive Siad Bari regime. place called the Mace, yeah, they sell some clothes, like some sports clothes, some football kits and all that sort of stuff. I'll give you a little inside of what it is like in here. So yeah, you can see the kits, some nice trackies. I've got some of them here. There's the change of room. It's not really like a change of room, but it's something at least. So um, yeah, so this is the store that I'm coming in. I might go to a couple more stores. I'll show you guys later. Okay guys, so here are the clothes that I bought yesterday. Some chakis and shirts, as you can see. Some nice jeans here. I particularly like these jeans. However, I'll be really honest with you. I have no idea why they have two Ds and two Hs, I'll be honest. But anyway, moving on. So here's the two shirts that I bought yesterday. That one says Givenchy Paris. If I just zoom in a little bit, yeah, you can clearly see the Paris. And uh, this one says Esteem. So a nice little bit of, you know, motivation there. But um, yeah. So these are the clothes that I bought yesterday. It was also very nice to get some drip So when I head back to the UK next week. So nice clothes that I bought yesterday. Okay guys, so this is my last day here in Bura'a. Uh, we're gonna go be heading to the city of Bambeda very soon. Um, we just got ready, we just packed right now. So today's gonna be our last day. It's been a very fun two weeks here in Bura'a, I can't lie, I've loved it here. Um, but all good things must come to an end. Uh, we will be heading back today, so so yeah, we've just got all our suitcases ready. We're just gonna make sure everything we have, I'm not gonna forget everything because where we're going is pretty far, I can't lie. So yeah, got everything prepared. Just gonna get, you know, what we need sorted and we're gonna be on our way very soon. Okay guys, so this is the hotel that I'm going to be staying at. So you can see a big comfortable bed, a little lamp over there, a good sized TV, a nice desk over there so that you can put your laptop and do whatever you need to do. A beautiful looking bathroom, big cupboard here, and a nice little mini desk here, you know, so that you can just chill on. A good looking couch. So this is the hotel that I'm going to be staying at uh, for a little pit stop before I head off to Berbera later today. So we're just gonna explore the city a little bit more and that's a nice, my ho little hotel view, my hotel tour. So this is the view that we just woke up to. I had a nice, beautiful sleep here. So there's the Red Sea as you can see. And this is a nice, beautiful view. There's a little beach over there. 
So it's a nice, gorgeous view here in Berbera. So we're going to be exploring the city after we just get ourselves freshened up. It's Jumra today, so we might do a little Jumra vlog. So I'll see you later. So we're about to make our way to breakfast and the city, the viewing here is absolutely gorgeous. So if I just give you a nice little insight. So it's marvellous out here. Nice. So just about to get some breakfast, but I thought just to stop by and appreciate the beautiful view. So I'm going to get some breakfast and prepare for the day. Okay, everybody. So this is the breakfast that I'm going to be having. Beautiful bowl of fruit, some weirdly shaped pancakes. I don't know why they're pizza size, but it is what it is. An orange smoothie. So this is my breakfast. I'll give you a wider angle. So this is going to be what I'm going to be eating. So I'm just going to munch all of this up and then we're going to head off to explore the city because we've got we won't be exploring too much because we've got a long long journey we've got to be leaving at 12 o'clock so we're just going to explore the city head out after we eat okay guys we're about to make our way to the coast of Berbera right now i'll catch you guys there Okay, I'm here at the beach in Berbera and it's absolutely buzzing with energy. People are enjoying the sun, playing in the sand and swimming in the clear, warm waters. The sun is absolutely blazing, making it a perfect day for sunbathing and cooling off. The lively atmosphere and the sounds of laughter and waves make this a fantastic spot to unwind and soak up the summer vibes. Berbera's landscape is a breathtaking fusion of golden sands and deep blue seas where rugged desert hills meet the serene Gulf of Aden. It's nature's masterpiece, proving that even the harshest environments can showcase stunning beauty. Okay guys, so this is the port here in Berbera. Unfortunately, I can't give you a deeper insight of what it is like there because for security reasons, they can't do that. But it is what it is, but here's what it looks like. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Also, here's a frontal view of the port. This is what people do here for a living. This is where Berbera's economy runs because it is mainly driven by seaport and getting food from the sea, fish and all that sort of stuff. Okay guys, so we're running a little late for Jumma prayer. We're just nearly about to... We're, it's the khutbah happening right now, I believe, but we're about to make our way to Jumma. I'll catch you guys there. Okay guys, so we're about to leave Berbera right now. So here are all our suitcases. We're just about to check out right now. Our bus is just about to come. So we're here in the reception right now, just about to check out. And we're about to make our way to Helgesa. We're currently at the coach terminal. It's actually, um, it looks kind of like an airport, but it's actually a uh, coach terminal, as I just mentioned. But we're going to wait for our bus to Helgesa. We're just going to get some water right now because it's really hot. But this, we're just going to wait for our bus, get some refreshments, and we're about to make our way. This is going to be our bus. This is the bus we're going to take. We're about to make our way back to Hergesa. I'm going to miss this beautiful city, I can't lie. It's absolutely gorgeous, but we're about to make our way back to Hergesa right now. So, we're about to board the coach. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're heading onto the bus now. guys we've made it back to our hotel room it's a nice decent hotel room to be fair i'd say it's much better than my old hotel room because this just looks absolutely beautiful but anyway guys that is the last of the my land vlogs i've really enjoyed my time here alhamdulillah make sure to like comment share and most importantly subscribe to the channel i hope you enjoyed the vlogs I'll see you guys in the next video